Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, can you hear me at the back? Yeah. Yes, okay. So I'm kind of mid-Atlantic in my phrasing. I might kind of start being too soft-spoken, so if I get too quiet, just throw something at me or whatever. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm okay with that. Um, we're going to talk about uh, multi-stage pumps for um, light hydrocarbons. Um, this is the agenda that we have. Um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Pump types, materials of construction, when it's appropriate to switch from a BB3 to BB5, rotor dynamics, MPSHA, MPSHR, fluid heating, pump testing, storage, and uh, hopefully some time for, uh, for discussion and questions. This is me, uh, in case anybody doesn't know. I'm half British, half American, or somewhere in between. Um, this is my third pump company. Um, so we were just talking about this this morning. Pump, pump industry is very incestuous. You pretty much end up back where you started at some point. Um, so let's kind of zoom on through, because I know we're running a little bit late, um, thanks to the fir first presentation. The, the first thing we're going to talk about is the, the different styles of, of multi-stage pump that are used in light hydrocarbons. Um, this is a style BB3. Um, I, put a, I put our model up here. Lots of companies make these pumps, so please don't think I'm trying to sell you this particular pump, although Tiago, if he's at the back, will probably try and sell you it at some point. Um, these are the capacities. These, these pumps can go very, very large. They're, they're used in um, pipelines. You see them as two or three stage in pipelines. This is a very large pump. It's not a pipeline pump, but it, in the traditional sense, because it's actually used for um, uh, salty water. But, uh, uh, but it's, uh, it's a pretty big pump. So the advantages are they have very low first cost, very wide coverage, good rotor dynamic behavior, Field maintenance is easy, at least the pipeline guys love these because they can lift the top off, you can take out the whole rotor um, using relatively basic tools. Um, the disadvantages, the axial split, which we'll talk about later, uh, limits the, the, pre the maximum pressure and the minimum specific gravity of fluid that you can handle. Um, and the thermal transient behavior is not as good as other styles. And that's mainly because you've got a lot of mass at the split line. It's not evenly distributed. So if you get a thermal transient, what happens is some parts move more quickly than others and you can get distortion of the casing and you can get leakage. You can get things binding up, that kind of thing. So pretty straightforward. This is looking, looking inside uh, BB3 if you've never looked inside one. Um, it's a multi-stage pump because that's the topic of this this talk. Uh, in this case, we have uh, six impellers. We have a, um, a double suction first stage here. And um, the, the, the bit, the, the really the, 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 the main limiting factors I'm going to talk about is this split line here, which ha is sealed by a gasket. Okay. The features, well, you can see those in the presentation. Pretty much everybody offers something very similar. So I'm, I'm not going not gonna to belabor it. Um, uh, other than to point out for the gasket, there are different options available depending on um, you know, what you're trying to do. So the normal is something like a, a, a compressed non-asbestos fiber or CN CNAF, uh, but there are other types of gaskets that are available. BB4, I'm not really going to talk about very much. Um, the main reason for that is you can't make them API 610 compliant. Um, some manufacturers will claim that they can or they can get them close, but it's right there in API 610. This is not an acceptable or fully compliant type, and the reason is you have all these exposed joints which are sealed usually by an O-ring, and API views that, you know, right, wrong, or indifferent as being um, an, a high risk of leakage occurring. So they won't allow this type of pump to be API, fully API 610 compliant. However, um, the advantage is it's very low first cost. Um, a lot of companies make these very good transient behavior 